Well, the UPS man then brought me some new gear. So let's get it out of the boxes. Let's get it set up, show you a few things, and give you my first impressions of the Wave 150i. Okay, well, I'm not going to bore you with the general unboxing of everything, but I thought I would show you the case and how it's packaged in the case. Uh, since it's a fairly new mount, I haven't found much online about it as far as YouTube videos, so I thought I'd give you a look at what we have. The case is very, very nice. It's a hard plastic case. Uh, it does have buckles on the front with locks, a nice handle, uh, nice labeling on it. So we'll open it up here and see. Oh, very nice. Uh, nice hard foam. That's a very stiff foam. Uh, a little notice here that tells us that um, uh, for low carbon emissions and environmental protection, they don't send printed manuals and they give you a link to their website. Fine. So in the box, um, we have, looks like keys to the case. Very nice. We have a uh, cigarette lighter plug, 12 volt accessory plug. The power of the mount. We have a U type A to B USB cable. That's all that's in there. Uh, it does have the, the spots uh, in the foam here that can be taken out that will hold the, um, the uh, counterweight bar and so forth if you choose to get that. I did not get the counterweight bar. Uh, I have the mount, I have the tripod, the carbon fiber tripod, and the tripod extension. So let's see if we can lift this out of the case here. Oh, it's snug. It is in there snug, that's for sure. And here we have the mount out of the case. Set it aside here, we'll move the case for a moment. Show you here the, the top. We do have the nice uh, hard latches, a nice handle, and again, it's a good solid case. And the mount itself, and we'll get a little more detail. Um, on the back axis, we have the USB-A that goes up to the saddle. We have the power up to the saddle, which is a 2.5 millimeter, which is unusual. Uh, most of our Astro gear is 2.1, but for the power up to the saddle, it's 2.5. And they did that because uh, it handles more current and can handle more power that way. So, and then the power to the mount is the standard 2.1. We have a hand controller point uh, port, or you can use an EQ mod cable there if you wish. Uh, we have the USB connection, and on the side here we have the power button. And up on the saddle here, um, turn it over, we have the two power outs, and again these are 2.5 millimeter. Uh, we have a USB port, which this is just a through cable to the USB a port that's on the back here so that gives you the ability to run USB up from the saddle and down and then a guide port uh, that's pretty much it uh, nice front uh, on the bottom here uh, here's where the the uh, counterweight bar would attach uh, this unscrews you put the counterweight bar in and then uh, there's Wi-Fi, we've got the gauge here on the side that shows um, uh, the altitude setting, and then the mount on the bottom, uh, the connection on the bottom for the, for the, uh, to the tripod or to the pier extension. And uh, you've got your, 
your alt as adjustments here you got your as uh, your altitude adjustment and then this this uh, knob here is they call it a clutch but as Kevin said in the on the uh, webcast the other day it's more of a release pin uh, that will release um, the mount for balancing and then these two uh, release the mount here for balancing it's, it's tight there's no play if I loosen this you know to back them all the way out I don't maybe you do have to back them all the way out then you've got some play here for balancing uh, an RA. So anyway, um, so we'll go ahead and get it set up, get it on the tripod. Um, my intent is to use this with my uh, 80 millimeter carbon fiber triplet refractor. And uh, we'll get that all set up, get everything wired up and get ready for first light. Okay, here we are outside set up with all the equipment on top of the mount now. We've got our Wave 150i mount. We have the tripod extension and the tripod carbon fiber tripod. On top we have the Orion ED80 telescope, carbon fiber telescope. We have the Pegasus Astro focus cube. We have a ZWO 30 millimeter mini guide scope. We have a ZWO 290mm guide camera. Our camera on the back is a 294MC Pro. We have a ZWO 2 inch filter drawer and the Orion field flat. <clears throat> on top here, we have a Pegasus Astro um, pocket power box advanced and a melee to quieter computer. Uh, all the cabling on top is running from the pocket power box or the melee. Uh, no cabling going down. We're coming through the saddle here. We've got the power coming up from below and then the USB coming up from below. And then down below here we have the USB routed through to the mount coming from the top and power coming into the mount. So we'll get first light here and see how everything works. Well, here's a closer look at the cabling on the back of the saddle. I've got the right angle USB cables here. I've got the USB A that goes up to the saddle over to the USB input to control the mount and the two right angle power cables, one 2.5 and one 2.1 millimeter uh, to power accessories up on top and the other one to power the mount. Uh, I highly, highly recommend these right angle cables. It gives you a little more clearance. Well, it finally got dark, so we went outside and set up. Here I'm doing uh, polar alignment using Sharp Cap. I uh, was able to get a really, really precise polar alignment. The polar alignment process was very easy. Uh, the knobs were smooth, made things very, very nice. And once the polar alignment was complete, then we went on and uh, used the calibration assistant and PhD2 to slew up to a point uh, up close to the zenith and then ran through PhD2's calibration assistant, uh, did the calibration run, and then uh, once that was done, did the guiding assistant and accepted all of its uh, recommendations for guiding. Then we slewed over to my target, which is M31, and I'm going out here to um, manually rotate the camera. I nailed it on the first try. I was very impressed with myself. That almost never happens. But we got the framing that I wanted and uh, using the manual rotator setup within Nina, and now we're ready for taking our images. So now I've come back inside, I've remoted into the mini computer, and here's the first image coming in. Um, as you can see, guiding is wonderful here. I was really, really impressed. Uh, guiding came in, it took a second for it to settle down, but once it did, 
Uh, I guided throughout the rest of the evening uh, between 0.35 and 0.6 uh, arc seconds, which was just, just phenomenal. Uh, I was able to capture about two and a half hours worth of data here um, before the full moon began to rise or nearly full moon began to rise. Uh, so I got that data. This is just with uh, one shot color data. And then on the next night I went out and I didn't film this, but I captured more data with the yellow extreme filters so that I could get some hydrogen alpha to add to M31. And once we get all of that processed, I will show you the end result. Um, so that reveal is coming here in a second. Uh, overall, this mount is fabulous. It's lightweight. It handled the, the, that particular scope with no issue whatsoever without a counterweight. It was easy to set up. Um, I'm very impressed so far. I'll let you know if anything comes up in the future, but right now I am very, very happy for this portable mount um, to replace my GTI, which this will do has a lot more capabilities. So if you like this kind of content and like some more, please like, subscribe, and we'll reveal the new image.